<sighs> another beautiful day at the village. Hi guys, it's Anamite and welcome back to Town of Man. Welcome back to the hardcore mission, the Ancient Warriors, where we play on the final scenario available in the game made by the developers on the hardest possible difficulty, which means that, well, <laughs> Things are a bit more difficult, but that's nothing of a challenge for us as we are the best What I can say we are simply the best was this I thought like this is a cave lion a mountain lion whatever thing Jesus fine Christ I, I should not play this game for late nights, you know later on I have like like I see imaginable things like a lion standing in my bloody ass bathroom, you know, and I'm really afraid to take a piss then so uh, Oh, presents. How nice. Okay, so Ladies and gentlemen, last time we've uh, managed to secure our village. Our village right now is very well secured. We can house 96 people at the very given moment. Um, I know that we have to probably develop towards this area over here so that we can house even more people because I think we need to make either 150 or 200 people, right? Where's the milestones? Not, not tech, I need the milestones. There you are. Okay, so I need to defeat 100 riders so that will come in its own due time um we need to make we weapons i mean workshop and metal smith so that will also take some time need to buy need to build five guard towers nothing hard uh, accumulate five bronze swords we need to gather uh 150 people in our settlement so that means we have to get like a bunch of more houses and also what's the final one i think this is all yeah we don't have anything else to do at the given moment so probably we're gonna expand the like the next part of the village will be built over there uh, that brings me to a problem because i don't know where i'm gonna put the fields i kind of hope that i'll be able to expand this village like here and that i won't have to expand it any further so i can actually squeeze some fields over there i hope that is the plan will it actually work i don't know we're gonna see i'm kind of like hoping also that i will be able to put like a field or two over here technically i should if it was not for the trees we should be able to actually get like a farm field as well over here because like if you're gonna get 150 people into the settlement then that means we need to provide them with food also i don't have knives what i have 16 knives serious about this okay okay game you want knives i'm happy to oblige no problem there you go get me more knives okay so we've managed to gather 108 knowledge points and we're gonna put that thing to a good use right now so it's time to finally access the copper era and after that we're gonna swap immediately to the bronze age and we're gonna get like some good good weaponry so basically this is the task of today's episode so without further ado i know why we are low on knives it didn't save me anything new you know but then on the other side of this i don't actually need to develop yet because the uh, enemies are still like attacking us with low quality tools look flint access flint access uh, slings, flint axes, flint axes, bone spears, they're really weak, like really weak, maybe this is actually the advantage we will take upon them, okay, whatever, man the turrets, man the towers, prepare for the siege, I just hope that this time I won't lose too many wolves, because that was like a thing last time, okay, those guys are really tired, all of you move to the gate, come on, move to the gate everybody, we have to prepare, also, that's a shadow. Oh no, man. Uh oh. Come on, get into fighting. Get into fighting. Shit, shit, shit. I don't see a thing. I don't see a thing. That turret. Oh, you destroyed my turret. Blood day. Hell. I don't see a shit. We have to really cut down those trees. I don't see anything. Somebody got killed by a rider. I really hope that you're progressing, actually, not dying. Is it over? How many people died? One guy and a turret. The turret will be remembered. <laughs> For the time being, at least. First things first, uh, Operation Expansion is once again in place, in motion. So we're gonna chop down those trees over there. And chop down those trees over there, I guess. Okay, and that means I have to build my defenses towards that general direction. Okay, more people have joined me, which is very nice. Okay, winter is about to end. So, I'm gonna get rid of this field. As such. Okay, gonna get rid of this field. As such, okay, don't you worry guys, I know what I'm doing, okay? I got the experience in this game. This is not actually that hard. Uh, try it yourself. <laughs> Get some houses here. 
Okay, I need to get... How many people can live in one house? Four. So this is like, what? Twelve. I need to have 150, right? So that means I have to make a few more houses around this thing. So that's 12. Uh, this is like... No, actually that's 16. 12 is here. Okay, so that's... Uh, 28, I believe. Something like that. So let's try to get one more housing district over here. Just try to build as many as that is humanly possible. One over here. Come on, rotate this thing a little bit. One over here. And one over here. Like such. Okay. That should work. Chop down this tree. Actually, don't. Chop down... Okay, we have to chop down that thing because it's gonna be standing in the... In the space of my soon-to-be wall. You know, fortification, stuff like that. In the meantime, I can just build the farms in the front of my village. So that should be like a thing. There we go, one field over here. And... Okay, f uh, I'm not gonna put flax field for, for this year. Okay, I, I have enough resources, so we should be alright. Actually, I can put flax fields over here. That's like another bad idea, right? Well, a little tiny bit. Okay, normally it's like what? 5 on 5, right? So that's 25. This is 15. 15 space. And try to put some more. 15, right? Hmm. It's not exactly work the way I want it to work. Okay, can I put those fields over here, actually? Ah, uh, no. It's not gonna work. Why could I squeeze this thing? God damn it. Okay, assuming there's gonna be like a wall over there. Let's make... A flint field over here. And this also will mean that my defenses will look a little bit better because they're gonna be closer to the mines. So I should technically be better at protecting my property, right? Just like the United States of America. And as you can see over here, new people are joining our village as well. How do you know? Because those idiots are naked. Oh no, they're not. They're already part of the village. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I bet they like to work uh, naked. Maybe it's like a new religion or something. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna just shut up over here. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's probably a very wise decision of me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll just uh, shut up for the time being. I'm gonna be honest with you, building anything in this game sometimes takes like a long time, man. But hey, slowly and steady, you're actually building the house, which is very nice. Uh, 132 people. Uh, are available at the moment to live in the village. So that means... Oh! Houses require repair, a bit of mud. That should not be hard to get. I mean, literally we like on the riverbank, so... Getting mud... Eh, that's actually very easy to get. So no need to worry about that thing. The villagers have tons and tons of time to repair the houses back to its full uh, strength. The only thing I kind of like worried about is that... I'm not sure exactly i will be able to fit all of the houses here. But I'm gonna try, of course. I mean, that should be possible. White? White? <laughs> Life? Uh, 136 people. Four people will be living over here, so that's 140. But the thing is that I need to have more than 150 space. Because people will simply not come. If I'm gonna just put it at the limit, if I remember correctly. So, four here. Four here and four here, right? So that's is uh, 12. So that's 151 at the moment. So that's the amount I need to have in order to finish the uh, the milestone. Not enough space in those stables. Uh, okay, I have to probably like build a stable. Sure, no problem. We can build a stable over here, I guess. Like somewhere here. That should be easy to do. Uh, some storages. Let's put some hay sacks. Like over here. Oh no, a blizzard is attacking me again. I don't really give a shit. Because we already had like a blizzard attack before. Expect for the weak Diablo mobile. There were no many casualties. Expect for that, so should be easy to get anyway. Um, a granary would be nice to have as well over here. So let's build the granary maybe. I don't know, like here I guess. And then next to you, just in case, we're gonna build ourselves like a storage hut. You know, just, just so we're gonna have like resources and, and supplies and stuff like that, so put you over here. 
And just to make this thing even more interesting, I'm gonna put the food dryers literally in front of you. There you go. Easy mode. No problem on that department. So I'm kind of thinking that if I'm gonna build... I think if I'm gonna build like two more houses, then technically I should be able to get enough people to my village. Three people died. Seriously? Ugh. Hmm, interesting. This is the first time when the riders actually attacked me from this side. Alright, there's the river over here. So that means they have to go through this, right? But if you should notice, remember to build a tower over here. Just like this. Okay, there you go. Right, speaking of tower, people went to the tower. Where's everybody? Guys, come on, regroup at the nearest gate. I really need you over here. Get over here. Come on, quickly. Come on, everybody. Everybody behind the wall. <laughs> Defend the walls with your lives. If we are defending the walls with our lives, and then why do we need the walls? That's a good question. You go on the front line. Oh no. Right, regroup the people over here. Come on, guys, we have time. Yeah, I know you are all depressed and everything, but I really need you at your top performance right now, alright? Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Everybody in. Everybody in. Fight. Kill. Annihilate. Destroy! Rape! Yeah, sure! Use use your fist if you have to, I don't care! <laughs> Three people died. Oh no! Five people died. No! Six people died! No! That's a devastating attack. Oh no. Seven people died! No! My my population is melting! Oh, that's really not good. Okay, I have for the future notice. Make more balls. Ah, another beautiful day at the village. Because things are progressing. The villagers are working tirelessly to build ourselves the beautiful, beautiful beginning of our civilization. Speaking of beginning of civilization, where the heck are the stones I need for my circle? Okay, that's one over there. Uh, transport you. Right, how many stones already have? Three, and I need three. Okay, I think I have one more over here somewhere. Finding those stones actually for the for the stone circle is sometimes so annoying. What is that shit? I can't find it. Okay, I see some unmined ones over there in the distance. I think I've ordered to mine this one. No, I didn't. But I have three somewhere. I see this thing on my on my statistic. Oh, okay, one is over here. So that's two. And that means I've lost only one. There has to be some more one more stone that nobody's actually carrying around. I believe, right? Because I'm I'm thinking, I f I f me thinking, me thinking that that one is, those three here are not taken into the account. I think it was that one, maybe? I have no idea. Two people joined the settlement, yeah, and I lost seven people during the siege. This is not gonna progress if we're gonna keep doing like this, you know? We've lost way too many people that we are gaining currently. After a long winter and still longer fights, I think it's actually time, ladies and gentlemen, to unlock the Copper Age, the Bronze Age. And then we can go directly into the Iron Age, but I'm gonna go with the swords and balls for the time being, because we need to get that thing. Actually, I can go right away to the steel. Ooh, an iron, actually. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm gonna leave this thing, because uh, steel requires iron, and that'd be like a waste. So I'm not gonna try to do that thing at the time being. Metallurgy. There we go. Finally, the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. The great stuff. Let's build... A holy smithy on the hill next to the village because we all know that this will be the place where the best weaponry will be crafted for our people the best possible workshop also like that's a thing uh, okay, I need to place it somewhere I don't know where shut up okay how about here that's a good spot uh, building, metallurgy, okay, what do we need, what do we have? Uh, copper mine, in mine, charcoal pit, yes, 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 exactly the thing I need over here. And what else? Pit furnace, I have that thing, metal smithy. Wait, I have that thing? Yeah, I have. Okay, that's actually all we need. So, for the time being, I need to gather myself some resources. The worst thing when you actually like advance to the next era is that uh, the traders barely get any like wood to, to, to sell to you and I kinda like need wood right now. Okay, get rid of the bone spears because this is like the most useless weapon currently I have. 
uh, outside of, let's say, wooden spears. Okay, gonna sell some of this. There we go. Okay. Focus, please, now on the metalsmith. We really need to get the metalsmith. Ah, finally, the stone circle is ready. So that means more prestige for our village. And also this means, means that uh, we're gonna basically... Well, we should get more volunteers to join our village, like more immigrants. Uh, work area exhausted. Yeah, okay, that's really nice, but I really need to get wood. Okay, let's gather some wood over here. Good thing that the wood, actually, the trees, they regrow like crazy. Like, I've cut this part out and look, the trees are already regrowing. Hell, I'm literally getting trees inside of my village to make things even more interesting, so that's nice. Very nice. Also, I got like raspberry bushes over here. Holy shit, man, this is so cute. Uh, okay, so apparently the holy hill is working as intended, which is very nice. Right, we have 101 person, people, whatever, at the moment, in our village. Okay, crops uh, fallen ill because of disease. That's sweet, I guess. Uh, okay, weavers are working at full. Okay, let's get some... Circles, they have, yeah, I have flintstones for days, so let's get this thing. And also gonna get some nice, so we're gonna use this stone out. I really want you to build a metal smithy, you know? So if you could be so kind and actually do that thing, that would be really great before the next attack. Cut down those trees, actually don't cut this one because, yeah, tannin. We're gonna get tannin from that one, if needed. I'm getting trees in the middle of my alley, that's so nice. Now please tell me that this is what not one of the most beautiful villages that you have ever saw in a life. Yeah, just as I thought. Can you build this thing? Oh, you are building this thing. Awesome. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, I've set those guys to only make bronze at the moment. So we should be set on that department. Also, I think I'm gonna order them to get me some giant skins, you know, because we kinda like need those things for the totems. If you have, like, followed the developer updates on to water, then they actually plan to add more religious buildings to the to the next era. So Copper Era, Bronze Age, I mean Copper Age, Bronze Age and Iron Age are supposed to get some religious buildings. Three more people have joined me. Uh, I'm just not getting any... Uh, I'm just not getting any bloody children born, so that's kind of like terrifying. Okay, I need swords. And, and I mean, I like, I need tons and tons of swords. So you better give me swords right now. This is really important because we are gonna get attacked very soon. And where the hell is the flag? I've made a flag over here to mine those resources out. Where is the flag? God damn it. Hold on a second. Mine it over. Yeah, the bloody flag have dis disappeared. What the shit? Okay, put three people over here to work and tin and tin ore, tin ore, tin ore. I've soft tin ore. There it is. Okay, mine that thing out as well. We got like a bunch of iron around us, but I cannot use that thing at the very moment. Uh, flint is over here. Ah, more tin and over here. Let's get that thing as well. Actually, no. Get this one. This one's better. It's closer to the village. Cancel this one. Very good. Very nice. Okay, how's the production of swords going? Animal have been extinct. Animal have been extinct. Animal have been extinct. That's terrifying. I've originally by building a blacksmith I killed half of the animals population around around my village. This is terrifying. This is honestly terrifying. Cave lion has gone into extinct. This is scary. Humanity is bringing earth on its knees. We are not giving mother earth enough love. Mother nature actually. But you get the idea. Also we're gonna get ourselves like a bunch of new balls. So that people can actually like use them. And uh, good thing that this thing requires only sticks and basically linen, so that should be easy to do. We have sticks for days, linen also is not a problem because I'm no longer making clothing. Uh, actually no, we could try to make some wool clothing. So I can actually put some to selling later on. So let's craft like a bunch. There you go. Okay. So now I just have to prepare for the next attack. That's a, probably it's gonna come very soon. Trader has arrived. Okay, Mr. Trader Boy, what do you have? You have tin ore. Very nice. I actually need that thing. And some wood. Awesome. Exactly the things we need. Okay, sell you some wool clothing. Okay, thanks, man. Much appreciated. Right. We've actually managed to get this thing. Holy shit. 
Can I get now to the Steel Age? That's actually like an interesting question. No, I'm mid missing 30 points. Ouch. Could try to get this thing, the fortifications, and that would give me guard towers and stuff like that, but I prefer to actually get better weaponry at the moment. Come on! We really need to get, like, proper weaponry. Oh, two hours reaching outside of my gate. That's nice. Because the night is long! And full of darkness! Can I mine this thing out? If I'm gonna... Nope. Okay, mind it the normal way. Just remember... So they won't actually make iron over here. We can't allow them to make iron. At least not now. I think actually you get iron from a different building, don't you? Blacksmith. Oh yeah, you get this thing from the different thing. Whoops. Okay, make that thing there. And... I think, yeah, we need this thing. Where are I gonna build it? That's a good question. Whoops. I did kinda screw myself, I think. The Holy Blacksmith Hill is not working as it... Shit, a rider attack. Okay, what do we have? Ooh, that's a lot of them. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Run! No, don't attack them, you idiot! Run! Uh-oh. Run! And you died. Hey, now we have the... Bro, what the hell? You got bronze spears as well? Who told you you can have bronze spears? Okay, this ain't good. Okay. Slow that game. No, no, no! Go outside! Go outside! Attack! Fight! They're attacking my village! No! <laughs> okay, hide behind the wall! Hide, be hide behind the wall! Okay, okay, you want to go outside? Go outside. I don't care. Dog killed. Three people killed. The doggies are like the best. Like the dogs are the best defense I could even like imagine in this game. Alright, people dying. Left, right and center. That's nice. Five people died. I thought that they are supposed to develop on their own. I'm talking about the other villagers. The moment when I unlock at bronze and copper age, guess what? They have bronze and copper weapons. Shit! And finally, ladies and gentlemen, steel have been unlocked for our village. Now we just have to wait for the blacksmith to get finished. Yeah, I've moved things a little bit around because it annoyed me. Also, I just noticed that we have very, and I say very, limited amount of grain around in our village. So that's kind of like terrifying. Apparently, we need to have more fields. So I have to just survive for this winter. And we should be... Why is this person over here dead? <laughs> oh, somebody died in the field. That's actually is quite terrifying if you think about that. Okay, well, things happen, apparently. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the very first steel sword in our village. The very, very first one. Actually, no, we already have two. That's nice. That's very, very nice indeed. Okay, Mr. Trader, what do you have? You have iron. Very nice. Let me uh, take this burden off you. Also, you have charcoal. Very nice. You have a little bit of food taking that thing. You have stone taking that stone off you, my dearest, dearest trader boy. It's so nice that you have actually joined our village, man. We're gonna give you some high quality clothing because this is basically what my village specializes at. I have 42 bones. I could actually try to turn this thing into like spears and sell them uh, to this guy, for example, as well. Okay, can I buy this thing? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is progressing very nice. The only thing remaining me to do is actually get myself reinforced walls so we can reinforce the village. And I think after that we could try to get the baking. So making like the food supply for our village will be a little bit easier because right now this is like a little bit of a problem. But worry not, winter has ended. I mean, winter is about to begin. A turn has ended. Uh, that means that the supplies I have currently will have to be enough. And they should be enough. We have 13 flour, 44 bread, 39 grain in storage, 22 vegetables, 64 meat. So I think we should survive this winter without much of a problem. And after that, summer will come, new plants, new fields, uh, the one I have designed it over here, and everything will be just fine. So, as I said, 
For now, I'm gonna leave this thing as over here because my phone is already ringing, so <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it as over here. I just said this thing three times in a row. God damn it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.